is going to be the leading team with just two. The first round Total jumping through the first machine. round. What a fantastic ride for a square. Jumping Nations Cup. What a great round there. But he does Here's the final round of 14, round. Brazil, the horse that is called 13 years of age, Miss Oldenburg. There's an entry of the North Manessis. Moving into the third rider round in round this round round rotation. Round. It is uh, Eduardo Mendes. And Number one of seven ranked rider in the world with top placings in the Friends of Tiber, $35,000 class this week. Pan American Games competitor, 2011 World Cup finalist, and 2016 Rio Olympian for Brazil. Award of one twice at the Nations Cup in Cup Expedition, including the Long Jean Grand Prix aboard. So best of luck for the final Brazilian rider. Here's Eduardo Menezes. Quinto. Out of team contention. Not over until the last horse is jumped. Well, they have a very capable anchor rider and really combination. This is Eduardo's mount in the 2015 Pan Ams and the 2016 Olympic Games. They did win the five-star Grand Prix during Nations Cup week at Copenhagen. So they've been in very good form. Patient ride there. Yeah, a lovely turn from the water to the long chain up right. Yep, beautiful track. Five. Double. So four penalties to add for Eduardo. The T-Bird 2018 upright. Now this Longines treble. Oxer in one stride, upright two stride. Oxer beautifully ridden. Just the last to jump, gives it a rub and a time penalty. But just a single round here for the North Dominus. Four jumping, so also one get time John penalty. Ball, and that will be a fall and fall total and for and Team Brazil. And of course, they the team do not Brazil. have a throwaway score. A total of 31. Total of 31 through the first round. In fifth place. We'll make our way to the final team competitor now for Canada, as Mark Laskin says. The final rider here, the okay. horses, Marta Lima, just nine years old, and Jish Holsteiner has an entry of the Wishing Hall for LLC. From New York, New York, now this is Mario Duvalier, who likes to show the final rider for Canada. Mario is a five World Cup finalist, including the World Cup Championship in his first ever appearance at the finals at the age of just 19. A two-time World Equestrian Games competitor and two-time Olympian for Canada. The final rider for the Maple Leafs in round number one. In today's Nation Cup, it's Mario Delorier. Was the runner up with this horse? Yes, with this horse, they were pretty fantastic. Just nine years old, this mare shows so much promise. Mario's really taken his time for her, and she's answered every call. He said that they've just been pacing themselves. They're trying to peak here as well as at Spruce Meadows this summer with the eye toward the World Equestrian Games. He said she's really made a lot of progress through the winter and through the spring. Yeah, those FBI World Equestrian Games coming up in September. It's, uh, I saw on social media, only 100 days to go now until the uh, first competition at those FBI World Equestrian Games. And a lot of these riders vying for places on the team. Schefter keeps got a really big task on their hands. And this a horse, I would think, has the potential to be there, thereabouts with that team selection. Absolutely kind of landed a bit right off the water and it ended up working out well for them but they're getting very forward to the double a great turn though back to that vertical that will help them with time I'm not sure whether they're quite quick enough it looks to have been a fairly purposeful round 75 seconds of the time allowed. Oh. Takes a bit of a chance at the last, and it is one time penalty as well. So, total of 
Here's the final rider for Team USA in round number one of our nation's really cup. Five star turning into a Canadian Thunderbird International competition. Just 11 years of age. It's a third and final leg. Entry here. The is Richard Spooner Rider of Alabama, California. FBI jumping Nations Cup here in Langley. Richard is a 12 Richard Spooner is a next to jump. Chadiness. Chadiness. Three time US. And uh, Richard Spooner for Team USA. Midland Shepherd King is by Chaco Blue. A two time winner of the Belmont National Cup. 11 years old. Three time winner of the Belmont National Cup. And the King of it. Team USA. Richard Spooner is sitting in second place. A total of 10. Richard was fifth in the Grand Prix on Friday, but that was with a different horse, the nine-year-old Quirardo, with this horse saving him for today, his mount from the World Cup Finals. What will be telling will be the open water. They had trouble at it the other day when Richard came in, purposely took a nice little tour around that water. Well, we'll see now. He's riding hard, and he's done the same again. I think would make a very good event horse. Chedinus likes to get his feet wet. Well, he was he was determined not to, but uh, Richard made him go through. Turn, you know, not having a turn into refusal, they'll just canter through, and uh, we'll hope that he can improve upon that when they come back for round two. But all week long, he's really been trying to get this horse comfortable with the water. There was actually an option in the welcome stake whether or not to jump it, and he made sure he took that opportunity to get a school with his horse there. Front part of the Longines, and the last part goes. This is a really expensive round. It looks like the, he may well be at the moment. We get two fences left to jump, and probably a time fault as well. 13 is the drop school currently, and it's another 13. So one of the 13 the field 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 it's going to be a total of 13, which is 13. a very uh, influential so, uh, round for the United States of America. USA. Team score, score. drop in the score right Ken Farrington is Seco. They finish on 23. Currently puts his win years again, really didn't think it is to get over that water. He did incredibly well, actually, Richard, to make sure he got there. That could have been a lot, lot worse. For well, the last go in uh, round one, this is for Team Mexico. Currently sitting on 15 in third place. Well, Rando is a five-time competitor in the American Junior Round Championship. He'll compete as the rider in the team next to go with a fourth-place finish. He's launching FBI Jumping Nations Cup in Canada. Fifth-place finish in Langley. $5,000 friends of T-Bird Class. He's the winner of the four-star. Fernando, Rodinette, Thoma, and Corbacca. Left row in round one. That building by Orlando, owned by Fernando himself. The last to jump in round one. This round is going to be incredibly important because if Mexico finishes ahead of the U.S. here, the U.S. will not qualify for Nations Cup finals. It's very tight at the top. At the moment, Canada sit out in front after two legs. Mexico in third on 135, and USA on 165. But it's those non-scoring teams that go into the mix and push the teams down. And this is where we could see a shake-up in that, in that standing. This third final leg. The rail goes at the Oxa with that water tray underneath. That's at fence six. Down to the Longine treble combination. Oxa, one stride, upright, one set, two strides, Oxa, one meter sixty the maximum height here. They're looking in pretty good shape here as they come to the final line. Ooh, lucky with that back rail. 
And clears the last time. Is tight as well. well four and and four jumping one, one time. time. Total five. Four, 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 and the Martinez Comma and Kobaka. They finish on five.